right. So today what we're tinkering with is these little guys here. It's kind of like a like a bump and scrape situation. I got these little mylar bags. They're gusseted. Which <clears throat> for this application isn't really imperative. But you know, they could be used for other things too, All right? Little gusseted bags. Anyway, so what we got going on here? We have these uh, respirator cleaning pads. The reason I got respirator cleaning pads is because they're large. So, uh, you know, Amazon, just like everything else, right? So these are, I think they're 70%. Yeah, 70% isopropyl. So that's, that's a good size, you know. So if you have a cut, you know, you clean the surface right get it nice and clean all right then we'll also what I put in here was a two by two you know if it's bleeding heavy fold the two by two up and use the band-aids to hold it down these are the tough tough guys right and then I also have these uh, stir strips uh, just in case and then uh, triple antibiotic ointment you know, I like the ointment, not the cream. Cream doesn't really hold on really well. The ointment usually is, you know, it's somewhat waterproof. Whatever. So, basically what I'm doing is I'm making these individual little bump scrape deals. So, uh, it's easy to, um, you know, I have a few already made up. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add... Um, a couple more band-aids because right now the ones that I have there's only uh, two band-aids uh, I think I want to put four in there just so it's a little bit more useful you know two prep pads right ointment the two by two and the stir strips you know seems to be Okay, all right. Uh, let's get some band aids in there. <clears throat> uh, not really too worried about sterilization. Uh, man, these aren't um, these aren't suture packages or anything. Um, these are just these are just some for the you know for the wife to put in the in her purse, uh, you know, put them in the car, put them in the truck, and they're just a little boo boo, it's a little boo boo kit, right? Um, and these mylar bags too, uh, you can vacuum seal them. They have the the serrated deal right there. Um, you can get them you can get them sealed, and uh, you know. We all know about that, right? Or do you seal them up top so you can rip this? I don't know. But anyways, they are sealable. We're not going to seal them for this application. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to make a few, right? A couple respirator pads, ointment, some band aids. Two by two, you know, and all this stuff, you know, I, I procured from uh, um, my local big box store or um, uh, you know, Amazon, Amazon stir strips, obviously Amazon, uh, box store, box store simple inexpensive you know i think this uh this respirator pad 100 count uh, i think it was like 10 or 11 bucks um and you know i just i just needed a way to uh be able to clean stuff you know i mean these also you know obviously they work for respirators and things like that um these will probably show up in like the covid 19 whatever um uh 
little packs, you know, where where you have uh, we have gloves and um, uh, we have gloves and these things. So you can clean your hand before you put the gloves on, and then uh, you can have these these wipes for that type of stuff. Now, what I did, I had I had before. Um, like Altoids tins, and I, I was able to fit uh, four pairs of gloves and, uh, you know, some of these in there. And that worked out pretty good, you know, with the Ranger Band or, you know, um, uh, you know, bicycle inner tube cut up. You know, I have a, got a whole bunch of them, right? Uh, so, you know. That worked out okay, you know. Uh, you know, come to find out that the, you know nobody was using the uh, nobody was using the the alcohol pads. They were just using the gloves. But nevertheless, the alcohol pads are there, uh, cleanliness and whatnot. Um, I, I I was surprised and not surprised I was able to order these. Um, uh, you know, they're they're less practical than you would think. But you know, for this application, they're great. You know, like you've seen, I opened that up. It was you know, pretty large. You can get a good, good wipe down with them. Uh, Seventy percent, so the alcohol doesn't evaporate um, super quickly. So the alcohol can actually get to work and uh, kill stuff. You know, the thing about the ninety percent, we all know that uh, it evaporates real quickly. So when that happens, um, it doesn't really. You know, it, it, there's not enough time. Not enough time has elapsed to. Uh, you know, eradicate or kill, uh, you know, viruses or whatever, bacterium or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> um, so, you know, with the, you know, with the gauze pad, you know, it's, it's soaking up blood. If that's the case, stir strips, they can, they can, uh, you know, hold the wound closed, but we all know, you know, us, us tinkers, when we get a cut, we hold it, hold it, you know, we clean clean it, irrigate it, you know, get it all clean and irrigated. And then what we usually do is we usually just hold it and wait for it to clot. Uh, once it clots, then we go ahead and put our, put our blue tape on there, uh, you know, with a piece of, with a piece of paper towel and some blue tape and we get back to work. Um, you know, these, you know, these are just something that I, uh, you know, it's, it just, it's easy. It's quick. They're small. Uh, you can throw them in your purse. Uh, you know, throw them in the truck, and uh, we're doing good. I need uh, stir strips. So the stir strips I ended up with, they're just, uh, they're 3Ms. You know, once again, I got these on Amazon. Uh, you know, simple, to the point. Um, you know, they come in this nifty little drawer that I'm guessing, you know, you slide in the 3M deal. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, uh, there's a little thing that I, uh, that I figured would be, uh, cute, I guess. Um, I also got sutures and things. I don't know. I haven't quite figured out what I was going to do with the sutures. I think with the sutures, I think what I'm going to do is it's basically just going to be, uh, I think it's just going to be the suture and some alcohol pads, and there might, I might end up putting a pair of gloves in this in a mylar bag. These mylar bags, so like uh, a rolled up pair of gloves, uh, suture, common blue suture, suture, and uh, maybe some of these pads. Um, once again, this stuff isn't sterile, you know, but we're not making this for surgical situations. What we're making this stuff for is emergency situations. You know, I mean, these obviously aren't emergency, but you know, this stuff is, is, uh, you know, preparations, right? We're, we're not doing this because we work at a hospital. We're doing this because, um, uh, going to the hospital because you have a cut is ridiculous. So, um, that's why this is the way it is. And, you know, it's one of those things where, uh, you know, if you're not prepared, right, we all know that, right? If you're not prepared, weird things happen. Um, 
or you bleed all over the place. I can tell you, I can tell you right now, I've, I've had a simple cut on my hand and, you know, bled all over the work site for 20 minutes, you know, and of course, you know, uh, way back in the day when we used to go to work, um, uh, you know, it's, you know, it's the boss's money, you know, so if you get cut, you better get that thing, you better get that, you better get that cut fixed real quick. So is that we get back to work, you know, old slave driving thing, you know, love that, that type of work. Um, but yeah, so, you know, this, you know, you, you, you know, you trot to your truck and, uh, you know, pull out your little, your little bump sack, your, your little, your little, uh, your little, uh, scrape sack here and, uh, go about your business. So, you know, I mean, I was real, I, I was real happy about these, these, uh, triple antibiotic ointment little packets. I have one here open because obviously you don't need all of this. Um, I was thinking about maybe getting something that I could, you know, maybe putting something in these packs where I could close this up. But this is one of those scenarios where it's, it's pretty cool. You can give it a little fold like that and it'll, it'll stay, uh, it'll stay closed. Um. Or, you know, I was thinking about, like, maybe a paper clip, but, uh, you know, what else? Stir strip. Get that nice and folded over so it fits in there. Just fold it over so it fits in. All right? So we'll get that in the back. You know, and, and there's four in there, I think. Well, there's a bunch in there. Yeah. One, two, all right? Five. There's five in there. So that's, you know, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty efficient. Um, but yeah, so, you know, it's the little, little pack. It's not, it's not real big, you know, um, you can, uh, you know, they fit in, you know, the, you know, if you got your, uh, you got your medical pouch, a little med pouch, you know, they fit in everywhere, right? So, you know, you fit in there, right? You know, they obviously go wherever they would fit, right? So, there you go. Um, this bag, um, it's not like one of the, it's not one of the, the, one of the big ones like Orca or whatever, but it does have the, uh, the Velcro taker off or dealy there where you can rip the bag off of, uh, its main source. Um, but you know, I gotta put poles on it and stuff and get it all adjusted and pack it full of, uh, stuff. Uh, this one's going on, uh on a bag with a weapon, so there'll be, uh, there'll be, uh, Israeli bandage, uh, chest bandage, um, the vented chest bandage, there'll be, uh, uh, gauze and, uh, a pair of, uh, scissors, obviously there'll be a tourniquet, um, you know, one of the things, one of the things with me and my medical kits, whenever there's a boomstick involved, um, there's tourniquets and Israeli bandages, um, but yeah, this is, you know, I'm, I'm not a doctor, I'm not an EMT, nothing like that, but uh, if you pay close attention to my hands, I've been cut more than, uh, than I can remember. So, uh, I'm going to continue making, making some more of these little pouches until my, uh, until my heart is content. I think I have ten right now, the two I just made, I think I had eight, so, uh. You know, just make a few just to, you know, feel good about myself. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's my little, uh, it's my little scrapey, bumpy, my little, my little scrape kit. Stir strips, band-aids, gauze, 70% alcohol, cleaning pads, and some triple antibiotic. Um, if you get a... If you get a, uh, uh, don't worry to 
to medium sized cut, this ought to do the trick. And uh, if you're in the middle of the woods and uh, you don't want no gunk getting in there, that's what we got the, the triple antibiotic for. That'll keep that gunk right out of there. Um, yeah, just a little uh, little med stuff. So that's what I was tinkering with today. Thank you.